Welcome back. Well, I went out of town and uh, some high winds came through. And when I came back, it was late at night. It was dark. I didn't think to look outside. I was tired. But when I came out this morning, here we go, round two. Hello, this is Rafa. Welcome to another page in my homesteading diary. When they say high winds, they mean high winds. Now this one, actually my husband came out here and tried to, well, he did fix it a little bit, but this was discombobulated and uh, that's the same one as before, but it, it did not receive nearly as much damage as it had the first time. So our design, our improved design did hold up but it's about time for this to be put to rest anyway as spring is approaching i'll be using and we're redoing this area so that hoop house is coming down anyway and here we go over here this hoop house <laughs> totally demolished by the winds but that's not my biggest concern. More greenhouse woes. I thought I had secured this in with bricks, not necessarily because I knew the high winds was coming, but I just thought I had secured it. And now, oh my gosh, look at this everything now i gotta try to identify what is what look at this look at this uh all my little babies oh my goodness well you know from the previous video i said i needed to re uh, transplant some of these things or up up pot them because uh, some of them had gotten kind of tall and because uh, the algae so now I'm really gonna have to move things along and these poor little things that was rooting these I gotta get them back going Mother Nature is something else, isn't she? Hmm, but I will recover. What do I do? What do I do? I guess I'm going to start over in March. Luckily, a lot of these, uh, a lot of the seeds germinated very quickly. So I'll just start over and uh, work with everything as best as I can, hope for the best. Um, I'm in zone eight, so I think we have kind of a long growing season. Y'all know this is my first year doing this, so I don't, need, I don't know about these things. I don't know about these things. I'm gonna start over, hope for the best. It is what it is. I mean, what else can I do? What else can I do? It's actually, actually kind of hilarious. My biggest concern about the greenhouse toppling over is not that the greenhouse toppled over, it's that everything in it is topsy-turvy and the labels have been separated from the little pods. So now I have to try to identify what the seedlings are. I'm glad that I have the video where I gave you all the little look inside the greenhouse. So I'll go back and try to match things up as best as I can. I hope I don't have to start a lot of the seeds from scratch. Well, 
not from scratch, but you know, I hope I don't have to start a lot of the seeds again. I have a feeling that I might. You know, a lot of these medicinal, uh, medicinal herbs and uh, wild flowers, I wanted to plant even more anyway so that I could have a good amount to preserve, you know, through tinctures and dehydration. So, um, I think I will start all of them over. I'm still going to hang on to these and the ones that I start over will help me identify what these are. So, uh, of course, they'll there'll be a significant gap in um, the maturation of them, but at some point they'll catch up and they'll look like what they are. And so uh, at that point, I'll be able to identify them uh, in the raised beds. I'm just gonna, I don't know y'all. I don't know, I'm just rambling. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Any suggestions, leave them in the comment section, please. <laughs> well, let's focus on something good. Oh, I see my one of my red beds. That's a sneak peek. More to come. My cauliflower, not cauliflowers, my collard greens are going to flower and seed. And I will be collecting them. So that's a beautiful sight. I think, anyway. It's beautiful to me. Oh my goodness, look at what the rains did to my carrots and my Brussels sprouts. Oh my gosh. I haven't been out here in about three days, you guys. I know that's sad, but I did not expect this much growth. This is just a quick little tour. Oh my goodness. Everything's just grown leaps and bounds since I've been out here. All of my... uh uh, red Russian kale, my red salad bowl, my dwarf Siberian kale. Look at my spinaches. Spinaches. Look at my spinach. And my turnip tops. Well, I guess this weather, there's some ruby red Swiss chard. Okay, see? Here is my um, radishes. I guess I need to feel around and see if anything's going on beneath the soil. I'm so scared to do that because I don't want to be disappointed if it's just a bunch of greens and no radish. But I'm going to have to do it eventually, aren't I? Look at my mustard greens and my, I have another collard coming up. My mustard greens are doing lovely. My giant red mustard, look. Wow. The conditions, oh goodness, these bees. Conditions are right. There's a collard green. There's some broccoli that uh, bolted way too soon, as you could see. But look at everything. Brussels sprouts and collard greens. And there are those onions that are going to, they've flowered and they're going to seed. The onions, I never knew that's what onions looked like when they were going to seed, but that's it. Here is some lettuce that's growing from kitchen scraps. Don't see the wind blew <laughs> that vice clamp off. Those clamps are so strong, I don't know how that happened. My parsley is so tall. Good grief. We must have had ideal. Well, my romaine lettuces have started bolting. That's the end of them. I think I might let them go to seed too. Since I'm gonna be dismantling this whole area, I, uh, you know, that cabbage collard right here is gone to seed. 
everything's gone to seed. Since I'm dismantling this area, I'm not too concerned because all of this will be torn down. My mints, I don't know what this is a bucket of right here. I thought it was just wild weeds, but um, that I just let grow. I must have planted some kind of seeds in there and I have no clue what in the world this it is whatever it is it's the whole grow bag full of it okay i got some all of my comfrey leaves have just grown leaps and bounds this is incredible incredible there's some collard cabbage collard cabbage my herbs are doing nicely okay this cabbage is finally doing good. I was having a time. Aphids was trying to take these two out and I had to keep cutting and keep cutting and keep cutting. So it looks like finally they have stopped. Oh, look at the little dragonfly. But um, look like they had finally stopped. There's just some, some more cabbages. It's doing fine. My beets are coming up nicely. I did not to know that was a red, giant red mustard green right there. Um, this broccoli it started, uh, that bolted a little way too soon. And here is a surprise little um, carrot little carrot so there's a little sunshine in all of this look at my garlics over there they're doing beautiful this is my little dwarf mulberry doing great looks like a jungle in there I hate to have to uproot all this stuff but I will be transplanting most of it my plum tree it's putting on flowers. This is my first year with these, with this plum tree, so I'll be leaving that alone. I'm just gonna see what it does. And let's take a quick look over here. So this is my black seeded Simpson. Remember when I put those kitchen scraps in a few weeks ago? Well, here they are. Four of them died off and uh, Several, as you said, saw the other two that I showed you a few minutes ago, they lived. This is the uh, butterhead, and that's a butterhead. This one, I don't know if it's in the state of dying off or um, coming or still growing. I don't know what that one's doing, to be honest with you. But there's these are, I believe these are red oaks. Oh my gosh, everything's gotten so big. This is supposed to be iceberg, but iceberg rolls, grows tightly. So I'm not sure what's going on, what that is. It came out of the iceberg sea. This is the red oak leaf uh, lettuce. These things could be some tender greens. This is the Dutch corn. I've never had that before. I don't even know how big it's supposed to be. This is, I thought this was iceberg that I had transplanted. I'm pretty sure it was, but it looks like black seeded Simpson. Right here. Okay, this is just a quick little video. My kales, curly leaf and red Russian. This is something that's bolting right here. I don't even know what it was. It was in one of those lettuce mix packs curly leaf. This is another something that I don't know what it is. That was in one of those packets as well. You know, you just sprinkle and you get a surprise. This right here, to me, it looks like it's a beet, but it was also in that little package that you sprinkle. So, um, this is the same coloring as the uh, Russian, red Russian kale, but the leaves don't look as serrated, so I don't know what that is either. Anyways, 
There is a little sunshine in the midst of everything. So, never give up. Just a little sneak peek. There's a raised bed, there's a raised bed, and there's another raised bed. More to come. some nice root structure on it. I really should have already planted these in the uh, grow bags anyway. The good thing is our front yard we cultivate for grass. We are grass farmers in the front. But in the backyard, it's a little more organic. So I guess whatever seeds are planted in the ground now from that little upset uh, will become part of the rest of the weeds that we see. And remember, weeds is not a bad word. It just means something growing where you did not intend for it to grow. So. Uh, we will see what pops up among this other uh, crop of weeds that seem to be taking over this backyard space. Always a little good. Always a little good. <laughs> That's life, folks. You never know what's around the corner. And the most that you can do is pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and recover. Keep on growing. This channel promotes the goodness in life. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And above all, prosper and be in good health.